to the vlogs. So, I'm just finishing getting myself together this morning. But before I do, I need to fill you in on what's actually happened. I had a beauty disaster. So I don't know if you can see my lashes. I don't really usually wear like eyeliner day to day. The only reason I'm wearing it is to disguise what I did to my lashes. Can you see that this basically, I only have, I'd say like a quarter to half, whereas like this is full. And I normally do prime myself with my lashes because I literally use my lash serum morning and night religiously. And I've got my lashes like in a really good condition. Then I had this new eyelash curler. I think I just got it from Boots and I was getting ready this morning sorry yesterday morning and i was listening to a podcast just danced away in my own world and bam the eyelash curler like slipped and literally ripped out i feel like you can't even see sounds like i'm exaggerating it but i'm not it's literally ripped out half my eyelashes so i'm just basically putting on eyeliner to try and disguise it so if you see me wear an eyeliner now for the near future you know why but i'm hoping that they will grow back I have been coating them in lash serum for like the past 24 hours but I needed to put on makeup today because I've got to film some campaigns and then later me and Chris, well I'm, I don't usually wear makeup for Ikea but we are going to go and do an Ikea trick because I need to get some bits because I'm basically going to be sorting out my wardrobe, I'm going to be doing a full switch over from all of like my autumn winter bits i just feel like i'm kind of sick of seeing big coats and stuff now in my wardrobe i want to flip it all out i've put basically all my summer stuff when we moved up in the loft so i want to get it down get it out switch everything over get my nice spring summer dresses out because i said to chris i was like i feel like all you're seeing me in is like a tracksuit it's basically what i'm living in around the house and i just want to get some nice spring stuff out and get inspired again so this video as you can see from the title it's going to be a home update vlog i've got lots of stuff to update you on and i'm obviously going to be do my wardrobe because basically the reason i need to go to ikea is to get another wardrobe set because as it stands at the minute the little kind of room we've got we are going to be renovated into it later down the line probably after the wedding because of budgets and everything so we're going to be expanding our master bedroom and ensuite into that room but for now it's like a good size room to store all of my clothes because i basically knocked out the wardrobe in our master bedroom it's all quite confusing but it makes sense so we are making like a makeshift kind of like walk-in closet so i can store everything neatly and i've always wanted those kind of like drawers that you pull out with the pax wardrobe so you can put all like your jewelry your sunglasses and everything just neatly away because i did actually have really good storage space in the old flat where we lived but it just was a bit odd with the shelvings and stuff so hopefully i can kind of like bespoke this to make sense for my wardrobe and then have a separate one which we're going to go to ikea for for all my bags and shoes i also had a disaster with my nails i ripped off my old biab gels and it ripped my nails so ripped my lashes ripped my nails off this is where we're at so i'm basically just giving them a break i've just fouled them down buff them and just putting loads of cuticle oil on them but anyway i'm going off on a tangent i'm going to get myself together and then the next time i probably pick up the camera we'll probably be going to ikea because i need to get like i said a few bits for the wardrobe a few little other storage bits that i want to get and we all just love a good ikea trip so i've just quickly put my hair up in a claw clip just because I didn't want to like keep slicking it back because I feel like it damages my hair when I do it a lot. So I feel like this is less damage and then I've just put a bit of volume in the front bits but my hair is growing out so much at the minute. But before I start with this whole wardrobe switch over, I thought I'd actually show you some new bits that I've been getting in and I've actually had some new pieces in from Abercrombie & Fitch. Now I've been shopping at Abercrombie & Fitch literally since I was a teenager, since I had... I guess it was like pocket money or whatever it was when I was in LA and I would just go in the stores and it brings back so many like nostalgia memories of shopping there. But they have some really great staple pieces, especially when it comes to their denim. Really, really good fit. And also, you guys know with me, when it comes to denim and jeans, it has to be comfortable or I'm not wearing them. So I've actually got a good new pair of jeans that I've been wearing 
and then I've also picked up some really nice like spring summer bits because I've got a trip upcoming and I feel like these pieces you're going to love because they've got a whole new collection around linen, linen trousers, linen tops, linen dresses, so honestly really pretty pieces and I've actually noticed they've got some really good wedding guest options on there as well. So I have put together some edits, I'll put them on the screen that I create over on my like to know if you didn't know already. I always post these on my Instagram stories and I'll save them to my highlights and I feel like it's a good way for you guys to get inspo and see like the pieces that I'm picking out so I put like workwear outfits even like beachwear outfits because I'm obviously looking at going away and they have some gorgeous like cover-ups bikinis so I'm going to show you what I picked up because I know you guys are going to love these pieces as always they will be linked in the description and I'll also put my size references as well so I know I keep changing my filming space but as you guys know until I get my studio set up I'm a just a little bit here there and everywhere but I've just got this new mirror from William Wood Mirrors and I've just placed it here for now because it's actually been sat in our bedroom but I thought it's quite nice to show you the outfits full length here in the mirror so you can properly see them because how beautiful is this dress? Now I've seen a few different types and styles of this dress and the fit of this one I just love because if I come in close you can see here how the hem drops i'm not sure if it's picking up on camera it's got like a lovely low drop hem and then it gives that kind of like ballerina puffy feel on the bottom but not too much so you can still very much wear it as like an everyday dress now i love a little black dress when it comes to spring summer i know it's all about the color and adding some color to your wardrobe but just having really good kind of like staple pieces like this like a good little black dress which at the top is like a jersey material so it's super stretchy super comfortable and then it comes out with the cotton kind of like skirt to it on the bottom and then as you can see it's actually the perfect length it hits just above my ankles so I'm thinking for this I'd probably style it with either like a tan I guess you could do like a tan belt around the middle tan little sandals but I'm thinking maybe like beige with my little ballerina flats so I've just put on my little ballet flats a beige blazer to tie it in and then my YSL beige bag my Sofitel one which I absolutely love and I feel like this is a great way to kind of dress the dress down well not down but maybe I'd wear this if I was like working in an office just like a nice little dress blazer on the top and then you could take this from like desk to night because you could take the blazer off put on some little heels maybe put on like a red lip and dress it up a little bit so there's so many ways you can style this dress but this is one of the ways that I just kind of had in mind real quick to show you then I thought this dress would be so pretty on holiday. It's very lightweight. It's flattering how it comes in here at the waist. So it's got this ruche in it detail. Then it comes in tight. Obviously it's elasticated so it doesn't feel tight on your body if that makes sense. It's a very comfortable dress. So I just love the colour of this. It's kind of like khaki pastel pistachio green i'm wearing a lot of it at the minute and i just think it's such a beautiful color for coming into the spring months if i'm right i believe this comes in a few different colors as well so i will link this one down below again i will put my size in on the screen so you guys can get your hands on it because i do find that a lot of the pieces on abercrombie sell out fast then these are definitely more staple kind of everyday pieces I picked up this stripe shirt. Now, coming into spring, it is just a no-brainer to have a good stripe shirt like this in your wardrobe. There's just endless ways you can wear it. I find these also look really great over bikinis if you just want to do it with some denim shorts or some like white tailored shorts. Also looks really lovely. I did a few looks like that last year actually and I loved the navy stripes on this, the pinstripes and then it's got the pocket detail. I always just kind of like to roll my sleeves back just for that more kind of like undone effortless look. Now, you guys know with jeans, they have to be comfortable for me and these are such a lovely fit. These are the high rise 90s straight leg and you can see on the bum, they do not gape. This is probably not the best angle to show you. Maybe that's a little bit better. They fit lovely around the waist. They fit really nice around the bum. And also, I found a jean that isn't too long for me. They are actually perfect in the length actual denim of it is quite stretchy it doesn't feel stiff which I like so squat test you can squat in them you can move around 
and they fit just great around the waist, the length. I finally found a pair of jeans that fit me perfectly, that I don't need to get tailored. So if you're like me, if you're on the petite side, these are perfect. They do also come in different lengths, which I really love about Abercrombie. They have petite, they have, I think it's short, regular, long and extra long. So you have to check for the item obviously you want in terms of what trouser or jean, but you can have it more bespoke to you in terms of the length that they have, which I think is great. Okay, now this isn't my usual colour at all, but I did want this in the white and the white was sold out and then I saw this coral colour and I thought this could look so pretty with like a nice holiday glow when you get that nice tan or like me, a fake tan and all gold jewellery, you could do like a statement gold earring and then some sandals i just love this i love the fact it has pockets any dress with a pocket is a win and then it has this fold over detail and it's so flattering how it comes in here i just thought the whole shape of this dress was very pretty and very very timeless like something like this will never go out of date i did give it a quick steam i feel like i probably should give it another steam over on the bottom but it's again the same exact length which i'm clearly loving at the minute i just think it is really flattering and just so like kind of effortless feel and the dress just fits lovely so again i will leave my size reference on the screen for you guys because i love this and i feel like it's one of those numbers that was going to either be a hit or a miss and i feel like it would work with like a really nice tan jazz it up with all your accessories okay another little black dress but i love this it is giving me which you guys know like Meredith Blake from The Parent Trap. This style is just giving me like a flashback of 90s. I don't know what it is. And I actually put it on the other day and Chris was like, I love this dress on you. And for him to kind of say that is something, if that makes sense. Because obviously he does see me in different outfits I style and I'm trying to like put looks together and he just loved this dress. I love the fit of it, how it comes up here. It's just really loose, it just, feels just like a nice comfy dress but yet it still looks put together so i actually styled this with a blazer my belly pumps and my bag which i'll put a picture on the screen i wore it for a day in the city with like a big black scrunchie and i just thought this would be really cute if you were working in the office like i said you could put it with a blazer i just love this little dress yeah, now I've shown you some of the pieces that I've been picking up from Abercrombie. Like I said, I will link them down below for you guys with all the size references. I have also been getting some other pieces from like boutique brands that I've recently discovered and also some lovely spring summer dresses for like wedding guest dresses. I've actually got a wedding coming up and then a trip coming up as well. So Chris just rang me. He is on his way back. I'm going to go take Bailey on a W. I can't say the word because he's sat next to me. And then we will get ourselves together and go to Ikea. So I've actually just spotted this chair which could be nice for outdoor furniture. If they did this as a set, I'm not sure, but Oh, that's just the actual cushion set. That's £80. But I'm not sure how much the chair is. I don't think there's a tag. Well, here we go. 199 So, yeah, I feel like you could maybe get something like this online. Maybe more as a set. This is the sofa we've got, the Grand Lid. Obviously, this is different covers for it. But I've seen on different websites you can get more like bespoke covers for it, which I was thinking about doing and putting it in the study room and basically taking the chase off it and just having it as a two-seat. So that could be a plan um, for the time being. But yeah, these are removable and washable. I always do them for ours. But I do get a lot of questions on our old sofa. When I say old, it's because we're obviously changing it in the living room. Yeah. Obviously ignore the cushions, but this is what I kind of have in mind for the study, like a, an armchair fill sofa like this, just a two-seater one. When I say armchair, I mean because of the side bits. Um, can't get my words out today. This is the actual cabinet set that we saw last time we come, and I ended up getting that lamp. I even might get another one because it's just really nice and it'll be handy to have in the house. We also got those frames that we're going to be putting in the study. I've just noticed this as well. I actually ordered the floor lamp of that lamp as well, if that makes sense, the larger one. But this could be nice, babe, for the study, this one. Oh, it's actually over there. Of course I've caught you 
table. Absolutely not. But yeah, this is the floor lamp that I was on about, which matches the table lamp. And I believe, yeah, that was 60 and the other one's 20. We've been in Ikea for like five minutes. Come on. <laughs> colour. I don't like, like solid painted wood. So it's the colour, but I'm on about the shape because you can get them in different colours, I believe. Because um, you've got the glass opening and then you could have the storage under here for stuff. But it's not big enough. I feel like, but even if you sure, put them together, yeah. like two sat together. It feels more like a kitchen but that's conservatory because you're seeing type it in a kitchen, no? No, I'm, I'm imagining it in our room and I don't think it goes. Alright. Can you change these? So this is one of the Billy bookcases that we found. What do you mean? Like change the actual doors? I've seen loads of videos how you can upcycle them. Because what you could even do, babe, is you can put like, um, you know we're doing like the sew house curtains. Do you know what I mean? Oh, inside, yeah, inside. Like you can upscale them. Obviously this is just going to be the base. Ignore the fact that it's black and white. We're going to go for a different colour. But you can upscale it, make it different, change the handles. The height's perfect, the width is perfect. Look at you with your tape measure. <laughs> Flinging it around. <laughs> Wait, have you, have you done the length? Yeah. Perfect. Sorry, the height. Do you, do you just want me to use the tool? No! I know you've checked, I know you've done 160 for the... 200. Oh, perfect. <laughs> it will hit. <laughs> <laughs> Can't cope with you in this tape measure, but... Yeah, I think this one's got a bit more character to it. It's just a shame we can't fit two together. If you think about the building, uh, building cabinets we've got, the They're similar to that, yeah, especially because we've got those cupboards in the room as well. Yeah. I don't think doors come with that because these are the billy doors. And I believe these are on, yeah, they're on obviously hinges. Also just found this outdoor set, which is actually quite nice, but it's quite small for our space. But it has the other chairs that you can attach to it as well, and the table. So this is the current state. Please, please do not judge me. Of these drawers, I mean the handles are all different directions right now. There's stuff coming out of my makeup drawer because this is just overpacked, unorganised and a mess since we've moved in. And then also my hair drawer which also needs sorting out so these all need emptying and then in here is just again i haven't sorted it since the move just these are all like my winter autumny stuff that i can start putting away getting all my spring stuff out i've got like my gym wear in here a lot of my adenola sets which i have to say is probably not that badly organized but this is just going to be going and then all of my bags and shoes and everything are going to be stored lovely on this wall which is also going to be painted and then this wall here is going to be wallpapered and then these are new Chester drawers for in the bedroom. I can't properly show you because I've actually just got our big TV lodged on the top of it for now just because it's been moved from our living room and also the floor needs to be sorted as you can see from where we knocked out the cupboards this used to be an old wardrobe which we had knocked out so we're getting the wooden parquet floor sorted put a rug over it it's all going to be sorted here in the bedroom but meanwhile i need to organize all of these drawers because they're pretty much empty at the minute and put all of my stuff that are in the other drawers in here but i did get the ikea storage boxes i can't open this with one hand so i'm going to organize them into that so everything will be put away neatly before we start so these are the ikea boxes that i got i think they're called the scub s-k-u-b-b and they come in different sizes so obviously you just zip them up there's bigger ones smaller ones medium sized ones and i find these are so much easier to organize all your stuff so i'm going to zip these put them in the drawers and start organizing everything Okay, so I've made some progress so far. I've put some stuff in the boxes, like here's just some of like my scarves and tights and little bits. Black socks, grey socks. I've got my white socks and then my trainer socks. So I've put these in the boxes, which means it's just easier to organise in the drawer. And then in the drawer below, I've got my workout gear, 
which is kind of how it was before. I just prefer it this way because then I can see the colours and I match them together and then the kind of bits that are left over which aren't matching sets I put in these little side bits which are again from Ikea and then I've left room here. Top ones, I've just sorted out some of my underwear. So as you guys know, I'm not really a bra girl. If I wear them, it's like my comfy bras, like my Natco ones. But I went to M&S and got some lovely matching sets. So I picked up this one and I got matching um, pants to it and this one and also white one it's part of the rosy that one's got twisted huntington whiteley collection hence why this one's still got the tag on because i recently picked these up they're just very pretty and actually comfortable hence why um i got them and i got a white one as well which is in the wash so i've been wearing it a lot so yeah i thought i'll just share those with you if you're looking for a good like comfy but pretty set of underwear and because last night it got to like 10 p.m. and I was still sorting out all of my wardrobe. Hello, are you here in the mess? There's so much mess on this bed because I've been sorting stuff out but I've actually been in London all morning and I've come back and I thought, right, day two, I'm gonna tackle these wardrobes. Chris managed to put up one of the wardrobes yesterday and then we're gonna put the other one up when he gets back. Hello, you wanna be involved? Hello. Love you too. So yeah, he's gonna put up the other unit so I can start putting like my bags and my shoes in there. And I'm gonna crack on with sorting out my clothes. I've managed to basically put all of like my coats and all like my heavy winter wear away. We're gonna be putting that all up in the attic. And then I've got two to three bags I'm gonna be selling on Relight. And if you didn't know, that's where I sell a lot of my things in my wardrobe that I don't wear anymore. And it's really good because part of the Money also goes to charities. So 
I've basically sorted through all of that. So I feel like I've got everything out. I've got all of like my spring dresses and everything now in my wardrobe. It's just a matter of sorting the wardrobes out in the closet, putting all of like the more thicker things like jumps and stuff in here that I may not also be wearing as much, but as it stands, I've just done the wardrobe switch over and today it's gone freezing and raining. So let's just pray that the weather starts to get better. So yeah, I just basically wanna have these covers in here just as like my overhang stuff and then everything that I wear every day in the main closet room because that's just kind of the situation it is at at the minute, if that makes sense, because that room will eventually change. We're gonna be renovating it, but for now we wanna use that space to put all of my clothes in there so it can all be stored in one place. And then as for like my beauty and my hair stuff, I've put it in here because this is kind of where I usually get ready in the, this bathroom. Yeah, it's all a little bit everywhere, but it's gonna start to be organized, which I'm very excited for. So Chris is gonna come back, put up the unit, I'm gonna finish off this, and hopefully by the end of today, tonight, everything should be sorted. Also, I don't know if I showed you the lamp I got last week, was it, from Dunelm? So I'm gonna be swapping these lamps because these are old and I got one from Dunelm. I need to basically get another because I only had one in stock, so I've ordered it. So I'm gonna be swapping at the lamps, which I'll show you. They're more like a rustic vibe brown which i think will work better in here and then i'm also going to get some fresh flowers to put in the vase here which is why it's looking empty and then we also have the wall lights which we're going to be putting up because chris is loving using his drill at the minute so we're going to get those put up in the dining room we've found a coffee table we love on home barn for the living room we're trying to find all the furnishings now for the study because if you guys saw when we we're in ikea we were just kind of debating the bookshelves in there we wanted to basically put two together and then kind of bespoke it but we just weren't 100 percent on it so we think we might invest in another piece to put in there so yeah i feel like the ikea ones just weren't to the taste that we want in that room because we really want to have it like antique like very like old man's vibe kind of room with the green so we wanted something that has a little bit more character so i need to do some online shopping order all these bits because i'm telling you now it's been months and weeks of me being so indecisive of trying to order furniture there's just so many decisions to be made but i feel like we're starting to narrow it down now we found a lovely desk as well for that room which chris will be using in the study it's actually from dunelm so we're going to order that tonight basically just sit have a night order everything get all the wardrobe sorted and get our lives in order and then this wallpaper which is obviously here in the guest bedroom i absolutely love it we're going to be putting this in the closet room as well on the back wall so hopefully we will have time to do that tonight if not thursday morning so these were the bags these are the ones that are going to be going back up in the loft these are all of my winter stuff and then i also have some bags over here just kind of stack them on top of each other which is what i'm starting to put together which i'll be sending to relight this is a mixture of like autumn bits some spring bits some summer bits and then i'm also putting a bag back up the loft of like real kind of summer outfits that i don't quite need yet so a few hours later i've got rosie to fuel me but chris bless him <laughs> has made a mistake haven't you babe <laughs> yes yeah, if you can see <laughs> Put it the wrong. <laughs> the fact you, you were help. trying to hide. You Why are you trying to hide? Me lift it up. So technically, you were an accomplice to this mistake. Just saying. He's <laughs> put it on backwards. <laughs> it's alright. I can fix it. Yeah, but it looks like it's snapping. Well, there's a will, there's a way. Okay. Bye, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> you win that hammer is deadly. <laughs> There's just going to be a little bit of um, wear and tear. What's the, what's the thick shabby sheet? Shabby it's sheet. brand new. <laughs> <laughs> Literally brand new. I don't want a shabby sheet. Well, you're getting shabby sheet. <laughs> I want Lux! Shabby sheet times Lux. I didn't pay for this. <laughs> I didn't pay for the service. <laughs> oh. It's going 
going to have a little bit of... <laughs> <laughs> the fact you're laughing as you're saying it. <laughs> but when you put the shelves on and put your bags and everything, this stuff in the corner ain't going to show. Because look, it's actually hidden behind. What I do? Be happy now. Woo! Good morning guys. I am just having my hair up in a claw clip again today. I just got like these front bits down. I've actually done a tutorial. You'll see it over on my YouTube shorts or on my reels of like how I do this look. Although this bit hasn't gone as well today. But anyway, as you can see, the wardrobes are pretty much finished now. Bless Chris. It's actually a few days later that I'm picking up the camera. He has managed to sort some of the drawers in here that I wanted, like the jewellery drawers. I've been organising them. And we've also put up the other cupboards, which you would have seen in the previous clips. At first didn't go well, but bless him, he's managed to revive them. And I've just put some of like my bags and shoes on here for now, but I kind of want to properly organise it. And I've got some spare drawers now in this wardrobe that I need to organise. And then we're going to wallpaper the wall. But ignore the <laughs> mattress behind me. We've switched over our mattresses. We've got a new one on our bed now. And it is, oh my god, it's so good. It's the Emma mattress. Couldn't recommend it more. Like, I've been sleeping like a baby since we've put it on. So we need to move this one out. So yeah, lots of little bits have been happening. We've also had some furniture arrive. We've had a desk for the front room which is going to be kind of like a study for Chris and what else has been happening oh my god I'm very excited because I want to show you the plans that I've got I've had my first render plans come through for the studio so very very excited to share that with you guys because I know you're going to love it so I'm going to pop the camera up whilst I kind of finish off the wardrobes and then I'll show you in here what I've organized so yeah, in this wardrobe, again, these are the PAX wardrobes, and I also got the lights fitted in these as well. I've just put all, like, my blazers and jackets here. I've kind of sorted through them, so a lot of the winter stuff is gone. And then I've always wanted this drawer to store all of my jewellery and accessories. So I've done some of my sunglasses here, bracelets, I've got my little brooches, necklaces rings and then i've also got earrings here and then like my chunkier earrings which just looks so much better when it's all organized and i also like accessories really elevate your outfit so to kind of have them on hand when i'm choosing my outfits i feel like works really well and i've been having some lovely new bits in which you will see i also got my nails done since we last spoke which i'll be sharing in an upcoming video because i've had some beautiful new rings and jewelry pieces it's not focusing that well but you'll be able to see them all in detail in my next video because yeah like I said I've been doing a clear out I've been sorting all my jewelry and I've had some new bits in which I'll be sharing with you so very very happy with this accessory drawer I feel like it just works really well to have it on the top as well and easy access these are the ones that I was saying that I need to organize and go through so I'm thinking in this one to keep this again like accessories I've got the little Ikea storage boxes as well I think to do all of my perfumes in here which I'm going to go get I've got some of my belts in here but I'm thinking maybe to do my belts in these separate ones so I'll be able to see them and then get more of these boxes and do them alongside and just have this as like a full accessory perfumes drawer and then these two under here are currently empty which I'm thinking to do like maybe jumpers jeans or like t-shirts and stuff that I would kind of go for and then I've also put these baskets from Ikea underneath for like extra storage so for now I've just put like sunglass cases in there so when obviously I'm going away or for the day I can quickly grab it when I pick out my accessories so yeah I've organized these slightly but I feel like because of the doors with the hinges you couldn't put another drawer underneath so these baskets work quite well and then on this side we've done the other packs wardrobes like I said if we were keeping this room as it is I would have done a full-on like built-in wardrobe I had a really cool idea to do like a bench going across here and do like a makeup unit but because this room is going to be eventually renovated and knocked through I just didn't want to spend the money so we just got these for now so I can store all of like my bags and shoes so I've just quickly like put them all in this isn't organized or looking any kind of way I've literally just quickly put my bags at the top so these obviously shelves are bigger and you can see that these are the wooden ones mixed with the white because I kind of wanted to bring in a bit more of the tone because it will match with the wallpaper as well I think and then I also need to get the little stoppers that go in here so you don't have this on show I will get them from Ikea 
so yeah i've got some of my bags here and then on the top shelf obviously where it's thicker i've done heels i've then done like lower sandals to my flats like my belly flats loafers sandals trainers so obviously there isn't a lot of room on here to store everything so i've put all kind of like my boots in the other wardrobe but because we're coming into spring summer now well we are in spring now these are kind of the shoes that I'll gravitate towards more, like my flat sandals and like heels and stuff, and my trainers. And this is the cupboard that is currently a mess. So this is the one that I need to start to organise. I've just got some of like my, I'd say like going out dresses and then nicer tops here. And then down here, it's a bit of a mess. So this is what I've got to sort. I do have a rail to go here, but I'm thinking to use this one as like my long dresses and bring them out of the other wardrobe because that's kind of what I'm going to be wearing now. The weather's getting a lot better. And then in this one, I have just got like my vest tops, my shirts here. Again, it could probably do with a bit more of a better organization. And then down here, I've got some of my bottom options, like my midi skirts, and then my nicer kind of like shirt dresses. Um, I love this one actually, this is from Dish. I haven't had a chance to wear this yet. I went to take it to Dubai, but as you guys know, when we went, it was raining every day. So this is gonna be a lovely one this summer, hence why it's still got the tag in. So it's been nice to get everything back out, all my spring summer bits, put them in my wardrobe, because sometimes you forget what you've got. And yeah, I found some beautiful pieces. This one I'll be showing you in the next video. It is stunning from By Melina. So yeah, I'm very kind of like happy how it's just sort of coming together and easier for me to grab it in my wardrobes and everything being in boxes around the house. sort some of my perfumes out in here and I do have a lot of like overs so I'm going to be doing a giveaway in one of my upcoming videos because I want to give back to you guys so these are all kind of like my go-to favorites this one is definitely a favorite the YSL Libra love that one I also love the black opium I've got some of my Dior ones in here Jimmy Choo love these scents where is it this one this is the evening one and then the day one which I can't seem to find right now is in here as well but yeah, I love Jimmy Choo scents. Also, Tom Ford recently gifted me this one and it just smells like summer in a bottle. So, very excited to take that away with me next week. And then I've just started to put some of my Jo Malone scents in here as well. So, I'm going to start to unpack everything and put it all away. Then I thought these would be good if I'm going to get some more for all of my belts. Put all of my belts here. And then this is going to be all of my swimwear because that's kind of what I'm going to be reaching for for like the spring summer months so this is just kind of like accessories perfume swimwear which is kind of weird but it works i guess and then not sure what to do in this drawer yet i have to do like t-shirts and then i've just started to organize like my track suits as you can see i love my adenola track suits and like my hoodies and stuff in this drawer so starting to come together like i said it's not going to be finished by the end of this vlog but just to kind of show you some of the progress so I've organised these shelves a little bit better with my bags, they're kind of colour coordinating. So I've got like my black ones, my beige ones, and then sorted through my shoes a little bit. So again, they're kind of colour coordinated here. And then I've just got my big Celine basket bag here on the door for now to figure out where I want to put it. I've got the JD Williams, this is the one that I got the boot clay poof and you can put things in here so I thought like some of like my beauty items or like stuff that I need to maybe put in the wash I don't know I'll figure out the use for this but I think it's good that it's like a little storage bit I don't know if I'm going to obviously put it here in the middle and like I said this rug is going to be changing going to get a little radiate cover this is going to be wallpapered we'll have a lovely blind here and then I actually just got this olive tree from the garden center the other day but i don't think it's going to stay there i'm not sure that it works but i just thought maybe something in that little corner to bring it all together but i think once the wallpaper's done and the blinds up it will look so different sorry it keeps going so dark 
maybe that's a little bit better it's because the windows on the opposite side where the lights coming in so Rome wasn't built in a day so I feel like we've made progress in here at least everything is kind of in my wardrobe everything's stored away so this is kind of the perspective when you walk in I'm going to take this door off as well and do like a barn door going across here and then in here I've put all of my long dresses because I do actually have the other rail like I said but I think it's nice to have this for my longer dresses as this is what I'm going to be gravitating towards and then in my wardrobe Wardrobes in the other room, like I said, is kind of like overhang. So I've still kept some of my jumpers out here. I need to color coordinate them. And then these are all like my trouser options. So all of my tailored trousers, I've started to color coordinate them as well. And then like the brighter colors, which I've brought back out. These were Zara last year, these pink trousers, and then my new green ones. So these are starting to look a little bit more organized in here as well. And then I've just put all of like my over stuff, like my bags, in these big bags on top. And then as for below, like my kind of more winter shoes, but I've kept them out just in case the weather goes up and down. Some of my boots and like my heeled boots and my taller boots at the back. So I'm gonna get like prongs for those as well. Yeah, everything is starting to look a little bit more organized and it's nice to get some of my spring summer bits into my wardrobe now. Okay, so now I've got through kind of like the majority of organizing my wardrobe. But like I said, it wasn't all gonna be finished in this vlog. And I'm very well aware this vlog is probably going on for a long time, so I hope you are enjoying it. But I want to just show you the first initial render plans that I've got for the studio, which I'm so excited for. So I actually received these this week from the interior designer that I'm working with. I'm working with Rebecca. I'm going to leave her handle here. And as you guys know, I did study interior design, so I do love it. And I obviously love doing it myself. But I did need help with this project for the renovation we're going to be doing for the garage conversion into my studio. So this is the first render plan. It is just like initial ideas. I have gave her the concept of what I want. And I said I basically wanted to mirror the arches in the house into the studio. I wanted a separate area for like my desk. I wanted an area which would be like a vanity area where I can set up all of my beauty items and film there also factoring in the lights and how we're going to be doing the skylights. I also wanted to have a separate space for like garage and storage which we're going to be utilizing in there. So this isn't actually in these first initial render plans but I'm going to show you anyway and talk you through it because you can kind of see the lime wash walls what we've kind of gone for. It gives it a little bit of texture so hopefully this will work because I also want to create a separate YouTube space which will also kind of go hand in hand where I can move it and also have a um, Pilates area which you can kind of see here in the render plan as I'm looking at getting hopefully a reformer bed because I love it so much I wanted to have it in a space in the house and I feel like in the studio would work so we kind of spoke about doing a separate bit for Pilates like a little workout area a space which would be a vanity kind of built in like this with the light system going around it and a mirror and somewhere I could just sit and do like my beauty content and then I want to segregate where the desk is so we're looking at doing more of like a glass or like crittle doors here or bigger grander doors going into this area but I love the fact that the back wall has these arches I feel like it just mirrors so well with the house what we're creating in the living room and obviously all of these items it's just first initial render plan to show you sort of bringing the vision to life and hopefully we can get started on this big project because I am just so excited to have a workspace and when we got this house that's exactly what I knew we wanted to do with that have it as like an outhouse so I can segregate my work and my home life so whilst I've been showing you this we also have had a new desk in for the study which is going to be kind of like the next thing we're working on in terms of furnishing it as you guys saw we went to Ikea we were looking for a bookcase we couldn't find the right one so I think we're going to go for more of an antique one I want to do a trip to Home Barn and look at theirs and also I've seen some of their gorgeous sideboards for here in the dining room and the living room as well so lots of things are happening slowly but surely it's coming together guys I'm just trying not to put so much pressure on myself to have it all done straight I'm sure you guys saw in the last 
one of my last home updates that we painted the study in here. I am loving this green. It's Farnball Trennan. And Sone has also gifted me this beautiful cushion. I pretty much have all of her cushions in the house now because I just love them. And this green works so perfectly with the stripes. So I've just put it on this big chair here that we've actually got from sofa.com. I'm obsessed with this chair. It's just trying to find the best place for it. And then over in this corner, this is not dressed at all. <laughs> Ignore this here is the new desk that we've actually got from Dunham. So this is Chris's desk. This is going to be his little study area. Obviously this looks very swallowed at the minute. Just a random desk in the corner with no chair or no decor on it. We're going to be putting lovely bits on the wall, maybe like an old vintage map. I've also got a clock and make it real kind of like gentleman's study in this bit of the room. Yeah, as you can see, that room is pretty empty as it stands. So it'll be very exciting to start decorating that and bringing everything to life in there. I'm gonna round this vlog off. It's been going on for a while. Really hope you enjoyed it, guys. As always, please do give it a like. Make sure to hit subscribe. I've got lots of exciting videos to come and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.